Welcome back to another video. Hey, we got Emma here playing hooky from school today. We're gonna do, she's gonna help us do a shop tour. We're gonna kind of walk through, <laughs> show you guys the inside of the building for the first time and talk about future plans and renovation and kind of what we got on the schedule. <laughs> All right, guys, so we've seen the outside of the building, right, last video, and uh, I told you it had strong bones, and so we're gonna go inside, and uh, I promise you it looks better in there. So, come on in. All right, so quick overview, right? 5,200-ish square feet building. The floors in here are really solid, like I had mentioned in the previous video, anywhere from 18 to 24 inches thick, rebar 12 inches on center, which is ideal for a machine shop, heavy machines. So, when you were here last, we couldn't come in because all the sheetrock, all the asbestos, there was uh, insulation, there was uh, drop ceilings in all of the different offices in this building. So the plan right now, tentatively, is we're gonna pull out these two offices because they're at like the this far side of the building. It just makes sense to make this shop space. So machines will go here, saws, something. We don't have all the layout yet of where each and every machine's gonna go, but we know that machines will go here. Kind of moving through the shop, we've got bay door there, we've got a bay door behind the camera, and then we come to these, these offices that are here. This one right here, we're gonna keep this one. This will be shipping, receiving. What do you want? I have a package for you. Maybe any extra part storage, maybe trying to keep them clean away from the mess of the shop. This building is gonna be climate controlled and the idea is we'll have air scrubbers and it will be in general a fairly clean shop, but that'll be that. This next room has two double doors going outside. This is gonna become the mechanical room. This, uh, oh, that old school heater thingy, boiler, whatever they call them, right? So that's leaving. There's all these steel pipes that go through the building to all these different heater units. Those are all gonna get gutted out. And then we'll have a really nice exterior grade door that goes into here. We're gonna have extra sound deadening in this room. And so it'll be like air compressors, tumbler, all the dirty second op, processing type stuff will happen in this room. Then we come to this little hallway, this funky little hallway thing. Right here, this little room, we're gonna try to organize it, set it up to be like a tool room. Emmy, you wanna come cruise in here? Yeah, perfect girl, come on in. So this little room right here will have like a bunch of shelving for vices, end mills, drills, all that kind of stuff. We're gonna to try to keep that clean and separated. Maybe some high storage for stuff we don't use a lot of. Then in here, we'll end up having some sinks. This was, um, only, they only had a men's restroom in this place, like in 1940 um, for the Air Force. They didn't have to worry about men and women, I guess. So here, like we were saying earlier, to save money from like a, Building standpoint, we're gonna just create two like unisex bathrooms here. Uh, we'll, we'll utilize one location and then the other location will be for like a sink so that we don't have to cut into the concrete and do all of that if we don't have to. So hopefully some of this all old school plumbing and stuff, at least everything that's exposed, we can kind of save and, and repurpose and use. And then kind of over here, there was a bunch of urinals across this wall and so this whole area right here will end up becoming, we're gonna have like a shower, some lockers. So all the guys will have like their own little space just in case they wanna shower before they go home or if I'm dirty, I have to go see a client or something. I can shower real quick. If I'm gonna go to the gym, I can shower when I get back. So the idea here is, you know, there'll be a door here as well. So that kind of covers this, this room. Emma, we'll, we'll follow you out, girl. So then uh, something that I think is kind of cool is this old school mural uh, in the military, Air Force, I guess especially back then, they would 
paint these crazy paintings. So the guys that ripped out all the sheetrock, they left this here for me. And we're gonna try to pull it off in one piece. We'll see how that goes and save it and put it back into one of the other offices just to kind of preserve a little nod to the history of what this building was. But this first office here will get torn out and this will become more shop space. This wall is like, you probably can't see it on camera, but you're like the internal Air Force construction boys did not build <laughs> a plumb wall, you know? Um, so this will come out and then at this point we'll then have all offices back this way. This first little office over here is kind of tiny and uh, we'll have like a window facing the shop. It'll hopefully be like a little programming room where we can still keep an eye on machines, stuff like that. We'll have a back office back here for, you know, business related type stuff. The idea is, is that this area here could become like a conference room, break area, stuff like that. And we'll have like a little kitchenette so we can cook for the guys and girls or whoever works here um, when the time comes. There, we kind of had skipped past this little uh, like mop bucket room area. So we'll put like a more modern, lower mop bucket shelving for brooms, mops, things like that. The idea here is this subfloor, we don't really know what's under here, but we're gonna pull all this out. I'm assuming it's just concrete. We'll have a door. This could be like the office manager's um, office, basically. And the idea here is that this will now become the main entrance where everybody comes through into this building. Um, probably have like a little keypad on this door or something to keep out like salesmen that we don't wanna to talk to or something. Nah, just, just kidding. But I don't know. So again, this plan and idea is kind of dynamic. So we don't know what this room will be. Maybe this will be for the kids. Emma, Emma has, I have two, how do I say that? Emma has two brothers, also my sons, um, twin boys. They're a year and a half. So maybe the knuckleheads will be in here doing homework and stuff. So basically that's the entire shop. So 4,000-ish square feet of shop space for machines and then another thousand square feet of offices to include that little mechanical room. So we cut out the big bushes that were here and this kind of wraps up our deal. We've got Emma over here helping us dig these bushes out of the ground. I'm tired of digging. That's too damn bad. You keep digging. <laughs> so this will probably be the last shop update for a while. We've got contractors coming in to do bathrooms and different things like that. So we'll give you an update once there's been some legitimate progress. The next YouTube video, we'll be back in the shop. We'll be ripping some chips on the robo drill. And uh, yeah, it'll be fun. Again, thank you everybody. Thanks for following along. Thanks for the love, the support. I appreciate you guys. And again, I'm just happy to be here. See you guys. Make sure you like and subscribe.